Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Nothing on the table, but this will change because I managed to assemble this. I managed to assemble this. Let's have a look how it turned out. Here everything is available. All right. So what we've got here, we have the lighting. This should represent my, my light here. Huh? This is even the same, the same strip. So this I will keep, I will keep it here. Huh? Then here I managed to, to build my, my brightness sensor. This fit, fits pretty nice in. Let's see if I can show you. My hand is more interesting, it seems like. Yes. See, there is the lightness, the brightness sensor inside. On the other side, we do have our, our display, the cover. I blew the cover, this I have to print out once again. And here is the knob, so we can adjust, we can adjust this. All right. This is working pretty well. And on the other hand, on the other side, I do have here the, the cables out, uh, can also be adjusted. Uh, here are the cables out, and those cables, they arrive finally at my control, at my control part. Maybe I made them a little bit short, but I don't need a long cable up there. Uh, so let's have a look inside the control part, how this looks like. You see, it's pretty, pretty standard. On the left hand side, we have our 24 volts. Yeah, 24 volts. And our control lines for the display and, and the brightness sensor, which are located in the head. Uh, this this cable. Five, ca five, five cables plus minus SCK, SDA for the display and a return line to, for the brightness measurement. And this is how it looks inside. Uh, this is how it looks inside. Here's my controller. Here's the 24 volts. The 24 volts go here yeah, and then further to here. So this is the trigger event. All right. So this is the trigger. And the trigger is a, uh, uh, connected to here. Here, this LED, this little LED, this is the uh, uh, Wi-Fi LED. This here is a DC-DC converter, so that I can make from 24 volt, 5 volt, and with this 5 volt, I go here and power supply my device. That's it. Huh? That's it. Looking pretty straightforward. Input, power supply of device, device. Switching element, output. Yeah. I made two outputs because um, uh, I want to to have two lines there. Yeah, I have a left side and a right side, and this is why I made two outputs there because it's already like that. And then here are the mounting holes, so we can we can screw it to to the wooden frame here, and we have a nice cover. Nice cover. Mm -hmm. Ventilated. So, how did I manage this yesterday? I tried it like that, so that, yes. <laughs> That. Ooh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now I should measure here. Uh, you cannot see, but I, I adjusted this the way that we measure here the brightness. And actually, if I start to power supply this with 24 volts, this should start up. Uh, trying to connect. Connected. 
all right 24 volts let's see El Heinz's web page so I start ah ah switching also to switching also to to my setup maybe I, I have to adjust a moment so I will adjust the the brightness control of the camera that we are that we have always the same brightness good and now if we go up the brightness should be bigger yes so this is working and once I covered my sensor ah This is also working. <laughs> this is all working. Yeah. No, no connection to the computer at all. So actually, and also the display. Show you. Hopefully. I'm destroying nothing. Yeah. Also the display. Still shows stuff. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. So, uh, I'm pretty satisfied. I hope this will work here as well. So next step is that I am mounting this there, yeah. because now that I know everything is, everything fits together, I am going to mount this there. Function check, and then actually I should be able to produce a decent lighting that I don't have into this extremely bright lights which are right now and that uh, somehow also the influence of the natural lighting is not that high yeah. so next step mounting this on my wooden frame there for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye